Today's topic is Upper Airway Resistance Syndrome, UARS. This is a type of sleep-related breathing disorder. It is similar to obstruction sleep apnea syndrome, but it is less severe. People who have UARS usually have anatomical differences and narrow airways, which makes it difficult for them to breathe while sleeping. This causes disrupted sleep and decreased quality of life. Symptoms of Upper Airway Resistance Syndrome Some people may not notice other symptoms while sleeping, aside from wake-ups. They, however, notice the symptoms during the day after sleeping poorly due to sleep disturbances. Some of these symptoms include complaints of overall daytime exhaustion, snoring, signs of depression, not feeling refreshed even after a long sleep, headaches in the morning, unexplained night wake-ups, difficulty breathing, and overall diminished quality of life. If all these symptoms progress without treatment, it can lead to metabolic conditions and cardiovascular issues like blood pressure. Causes of Upper Airway Resistance Syndrome People with UARS usually have anatomical differences in their upper airways, like narrowing that makes breathing difficult while sleeping. They also have resistance in two areas, the area between the uvula and soft palate and the area between the uvula and the epiglottis. In addition to these, there are certain underlying conditions and demographic traits that make people susceptible to developing UARS. For example, obesity can be a contributing factor to UARS, especially in younger people. Also, women are slightly more likely to have this condition than men, especially women who are premenopausal or perimenopause. Diagnosis Process for Upper Airway Resistance Syndrome you should visit a healthcare professional or sleep specialist if you have any symptoms of UARS. You will be asked to describe your symptoms and overall medical history. If your doctor believes you have this syndrome, they may order a sleep study in which you stay overnight in the laboratory to have your vitals and behavior monitored. UARS is not a formal diagnosis currently, but can be suggested as a subdiagnosis of obstructive sleep apnea syndrome. However, if your healthcare provider recognizes that you have UARS, they will come up with a treatment plan that works for you. Treatment Options for Upper Airway Resistance Syndrome UARS does not have a specific recommended treatment. However, many treatments that work with obstructive sleep apnea syndrome work for it. Other treatment options include Continuous Positive Airway Pressure Therapy, CPAP, CPAP is the most widely used and studied treatment for UARS. The therapy involves the use of a CPAP machine that emits pressurized air into your body during sleep. Surgery For people who don't have success with CPAP or for those who don't wish to use it, surgery in the upper airway may be performed. Orthodontic treatments This includes procedures such as the use of rapid maxillary distraction or mandibular advancement devices that alters the positioning of your lower jaw, thereby lessening symptoms of UARS. Oral appliances. These are devices that you can wear overnight and they change the position of your tongue and jaw in order to open up the airway and reduce UARS. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.